seen a video like this before anyway god damn today is a holiday i don't have to go to school and i took the decision to come and sit here in the park i think that's going to be the best decision of the day for me the year is 2018 i'm living in leel i'm in my final year of business school in a few months i'm going to start working and i'm making the most of the few holidays i get over the week okay i get quite a lot of holidays found a little shade and took a little seat back when i was researching power banks you know i was looking up what's the best power bank what makes a good power bank what do those numbers mean and i discovered a couple of things and i thought i'll talk to you guys about it before you invest on your next power bank if you look at phones they have these or any batteries for that matter they have this mah reading i don't know if you've paid attention it stands for milli amp hour and over the years over the last 10 years if you looked at the first iphone it had a 1400 milliamp hour rating and the new one is around 3000 so there should be a little bit of difference between the two of these right generally if this number goes high it sorry <laughs> Generally if this number goes high it means that the battery should last longer the milliamp hour is a unit for battery capacity it's actually the product of current and time current is expressed in milliamps because amps is a lot and time in this case is exp expressed in an hour so if you take a 3000 milliamp hour battery it means it will give you 3000 milliamps of current which is a lot of current and it will give you this current for 1 hour now apart from the current there's another thing that we need to worry about which is voltage let's not talk about that over here because it's really confusing to get a lot of variables into the same thing if you increase the battery capacity it means it increases the amount of time you can use this battery for that's why a bigger battery lasts longer but there's a host of other variables like battery retention and the performance of this battery at different temperatures and so on so let's call all of those other guys as a constant so now when you compare two batteries of different numbers you know that a bigger number means that the battery will last longer but just so you know there are companies that make batteries with a huge number so you'll have a power bank for 20000 milliamp hours and you're thinking this means that it will charge more right it will charge two or three phones at a full so if i charge my power bank once then it will charge my phone three times over right um yes and no because not all batteries have the same charge retention depending on the technology of the battery inside and the quality of this battery the charge retention changes so the best way to work around this is to compare real life examples of this battery for your phone before you make that purchase if there's a new battery in town don't just put your money into it but watch videos on youtube maybe and read blog posts on what people have done uh with these batteries there are blog posts dedicated to testing these things so you should leverage this so that, so that you don't have to buy something that you don't like you know so if you're using a oneplus phone like me uh, or actually any phone for that matter put in this phone and oh d'accord je fais les vidéos sur youtube Alors là, je connais rien, moi. Ah, c'est pour mes parents justement euh, euh, les gens qui euh, comprennent pas comment utiliser un portable ou un oui, ordinateur. Oui. Juste pour exp expliquer un peu comment ça marche et tout. Bon, c'est mon, mon cas. Ah oui, <rire> d'accord. Vous parlez anglais vous Non, 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 je l'ai appris mais. D'accord, parce que je fais mes, mes vidéos. Je suis anglophone, je suis indien. Du oui, coup, euh, je fais mes vidéos euh, en anglais. Ouais. Euh, bien sûr. J'aurais dû euh, partager, mais c'est en anglais, malheureusement. Euh, oui, oui, non, moi c'est trop. J'ai oublié. Hein. D'accord. Oui, oui. 
Eh bien, bonne, bonne chance, ils vont être contents. Hein. Ah oui, mes parents, oui, ils oui. aiment bien que je fasse des photos pour eux, ah, oui. C'est ça, tout à fait, ça c'est bien. Voilà. Bon après-midi à vous, madame. Merci. Si, hein. Au revoir. People are so warm over here in this in this part of France, you know. I'm living in this area called Nord. It's in the north of France. And people are really warm and approachable, you know. The relative to my stay in Paris, I noticed that people go out of their way to ask, what are you doing? Nice t-shirt. They're going out of their way to ask me about, about me, you know. That's really, this was an age grandmother. It's like, what do you do with your camera? Do you take pictures or videos? I was like, I make videos. Like, ah. I don't know anything about that. And I was like, I was telling her that I make these videos for my parents and stuff for you guys too. Actually, I didn't say you guys. I'm sorry, guys. So I was just telling her about that and she was like, I don't speak any English. That was nice. That was Anyway, I was talking, if you have a, a OnePlus phone or any other phone for that matter, put in the name of this phone on Google and the product you want to buy, the battery you want to buy that, to go with this phone and look at what people are saying. Sometimes it, it causes your phone to overheat. Sometimes it causes your phone to not last long uh, when you're char charging with this uh, and so on. Actually, there's this thing called amperage of a battery, you know. Uh, you know these fast charging uh, adapters or batteries, they have usually a 2 amp or 3 amp, 4 amp um, current. Actually, if you increase this current, it means that it charges faster. But some batteries get damaged. If it was not designed to be charged at this rate, at this amperage, then it will uh, damage your phone so don't just look at the numbers and buy it that's the message there is a message to this video don't just look at the numbers and buy a battery look at other people and what they are buying to make sure that you're not just buying something because the numbers are better technically speaking two amps is better than one amp four amps is better than one amp 20,000 milliamp hour is better than 10,000 or 5,000 milliamp hour. That doesn't mean that if I have an iPhone 5, I'll go out and buy the 20,000 milliamp hour 2 ampere charger. You know, I'll buy something that's more suited to my device. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before I speak some more, I'll cut it short. This is really beautiful. I'll show you some more shots about this place. Enjoy that and I'll see you guys in the next video. Keep learning.